Welcome back to another episode of Savage Prospecting. I'm going to do a day trip. We're gonna see how much gold I can find in a day, if anything. Started a bit late, it's about 10 o'clock. We're gonna go out, we're gonna have a crack with the seven for a couple of hours, and then I'm gonna whack out the six and see how we go with that. Awesome pick from Top End Picks. Mario, did a great job, mate. Love it. First target here for the day. It sounds suspiciously like lead, but we'll have a look. Something shallow anyway. Yeah, pretty much on the surface. Uh, yeah, that is a little tiny, looks like the end off an old boot nail or something like that. Beautiful looking ground. Heaps of quartz in it. Heaps of gravel. I know there's gold here. Yeah. Bit of lead. I'm just over an hour in and I've got a likely target. Haven't scratched it at all yet. It's a nice warble. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I probably shouldn't be yet. Let's have a look at it. Let's hope it's gold, eh? Hopefully, it's the first bit of gold. Oh no. Already out. Dreams slowly getting crushed. That's not good. Oh, it's gold. Yes. That was shallow. Jeez. In difficult, it was quiet, but it, um, it had that nice warble to it, which which I got excited about. Ah, oh, that's good nonetheless. Give us a look. There she is. Not breaking any records. But hey, first bit and the seven's on. A couple of ground noisy targets later. I finally got a target that sounded ground noisy from the top, but it's actually turned into something. So let's have a look. I think it's in this clump. Sure is. Or it might be attached to the outside of it. I think it's just a hot rock, eh? And that's just a hot rock, guys. Running a normal will do that. Uh, that was a little bit disappointing, but um, I suppose positive with that is we did find about one piece. Been going about three and a half hours, and it was just that one little small piece. So better than nothing, and it is an area where it's it's real hit and miss. It's not workings or anything like that. It's just just hill slopes uh, in the gold field. So it's always hit and miss when you go to those areas, but. More likeliness of getting a big slug, um, just just wandering the bush. But yeah, targets are usually a lot more few and far between. <clears throat> Going to uh, get some lunch. 
and then head to a different spot and then run the six for the rest of the day. See how we go there. Well, I'm all filled up. Just went home, had some pasta and I had a parcel there from Blue Eddy as well. So I'll give you a look at that. PB200 comes with a 12 gauge heavy duty cable. It's approximately three meters long with the MC4 connections. And all Blue Eddy products come with uh, the same connection supplied in the box for the power unit. So we just connect those, connect it to the unit, and we'll be able to see what sort of power we're getting. Clear skies, full sun on the panels. Let's have a look what we're getting. 168 watts at the moment. That's producing really good wattage. Um, another thing to note with this solar panel is they run in parallel. So if I shade it off a portion of this panel, you'd still get really good wattage with the rest. Whereas if a solar panel's wired in series, it really affects it if you get some sort of shade on the panels or something like that. It'll, it'll dramatically drop the output of the, the solar panel, which is really good because it is quite a large panel. Um, so if you've set up camp, You've got some trees in the area. The tree shades half of the panel. You'll still get really good input. Being a premium product from Bluetti, these panels have an ETFE coating, which is a very translucent coating. It uh, prevents scratches and also prevents any yellowing uh, from exposure to the sun. The PV200 from Bluetti is their high-end premium product. They do have a couple of other options if you're looking for a more budget solar panel. The dimensions of the unit. Approximately 590 mil length is 2.2 meters, and here's Lupe, the Chihuahua, for a bit of scale. I'm back at the same spot, and I'm going to run the 6,000 over pretty much the same areas I did the seven. A little bit different um, spot. I'll just run a bit further south. There's a bit of a ridge where I've been getting the gold on the east side of that. So I'll continue down the southern side of that and see if the six plucks anything else that the seven's missed. Now I've never run the six here before, um, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Let's get to it. First target acquired. Thought I had a target there, but it was just a bit of ground noise. Shallow one. I think I can pick what this one's gonna be. I'm happy to be proven wrong though. What have we got? Dreaded lead shot. Well, that's a wrap for today. Uh, just the one little bit. Just goes to show that I'm only human. <laughs> and we all have days where we don't find much or find no gold. Still to find one little bit, that's, you know, that's a positive. Usually if I, if I was having days like this, I'd hit and move. So I'd stay at a spot for an hour or two. If I got nothing, I'd move on. But <clears throat> today was just a bit of a test to check this spot out and to see uh, if I could find you know, much with the seven and I hadn't run the six over it before. So 
I thought, yeah, worthwhile, just spend the whole day here, see what happens, you never know. There has been big gold found nearby here as well, so it was worth a shot. But uh, to anyone getting into it, this is what can happen most days. If you try and find a new spot, it's a bit easier when you've got a little patch going on and you can work and continue to work the area and then you just go out a bit further and further and further from it. But if you're trying to find a new spot and you're not sure if there's any gold there yet, it can take a couple of days to find anything and then a little bit longer to sort of find a bit of a run and potentially a patch. But hit a spot, spend some time there. If you're not getting anything, just move on and keep doing that until you find something. When you find something, work the area. So rake uh, if it's really good or just go slow down and be a bit more thorough. Anyway, we'll put this little one on the scale and see what it comes to. I'm tipping maybe point, uh, 0.15, maybe 0.2. But yeah, we'll chuck it on and have a look. Until the next one, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.